Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to DCMX Gaming. Today we're not playing Minecraft, we're not playing Descenders, we're not even playing a video game. Today we are doing an unboxing of my brand new Logitech G502 gaming mouse. I am so excited for this amazing mouse. And my current mouse, it's okay, but it's definitely nothing like the G502. This is the G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse by Logitech G in the G series. I am very excited. Basically, the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse doesn't just, you know, I, I don't want to read this. You guys probably don't care about this, but I'll leave a link to this mouse in the description. It looks really cool, and I'm just really psyched for this mouse. And I honestly have just needed a new mouse for a while, so I think this is going to be really good. Basically, this mouse it takes about one millisecond with the chip, with the Hero 25K sensor, for when I actually move it to when the computer recognizes that I move it. It also wirelessly charges if I purchase the PowerPlay wireless charging, which I would like to purchase, but that is a lot of money. <laughs> I'm basically broke, so uh, I'm just really excited for this, and I hope you guys enjoy this. So, let's open the box. And it is time to unbox this amazing mouse. Now, this is actually the first time I've ever recorded anything for my YouTube channel in real life, and this is a little bit for me, but I'm really hoping you guys actually enjoy this. So, I'm currently using my GoPro Hero 9, and I'm really excited. So, let's unbox this. Move my wonderful Apple mouse. This isn't even a mouse. This is an Apple keyboard. I'll be upgrading my keyboard, don't worry. But this is the current mouse that I'm using, and this is the MX Masters 2S. It's a really nice mouse, and I've really liked it, but I think it's time to get a real gaming mouse. Let's move this guy out of the way, and let's bring this guy in here. This is our box. I gotta make sure that's in camera view. Anyways, this is the box that we're gonna be opening. So, this is from Logitech G, and they're basically Logitech just gaming. Same company. So, let's get our scissors out, and let's crack this guy open. Let's see, so you gotta slide right there. Slide right here. And it looks like that's about it. So let's get this box open. Once we open this wonderful box, oh wow, you know, I have actually never seen one of these in real life, but this looks really good. So looks like they gave us some free stuff to pop. Um, I don't know if you guys enjoy popping this stuff, but I've always loved it. So that was dissatisfying. That was very boring. Anyways, let's get this beautiful box open. So this is the G502 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse. I don't know. I need to check my camera to make sure everything's in frame. Okay. So this is the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. And I'm really excited. So it looks like this packaging looks beautiful. And on the back here, you can see this says G, whoops, no, uh, G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. This looks really good. It's got Lightspeed Wireless technology. It's using the 25... Uh, the Hero 25K sensor. <laughs> there are multiple weights in this, and he has this thing has 11 programmable buttons. So let's get this guy open. Well, that didn't open it. Let's see. Um, find I don't want to damage the box because this thing is beautiful. Let's see if we put just enough pressure. There we go. And then we can slide this guy open. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love ripping the plastic wrap off of all of my devices. But, sometimes it can be annoying because you can't seem to get that plastic wrap off. Now, I love taking the plastic wrap off once I get it going. But, there we go. So, if we slide this guy open... Oh, this is amazing. I love the sound of this. I love this stuff. And put that in the box. And then... This just looks absolutely amazing, so let's get this box open. It looks like it just slides open like this, so let's see. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is the Logitech G502. This sounds like an advertisement. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. But I have 50 subscribers. Imagine me getting sponsored. Anyways, this looks absolutely beautiful, and I just want to spend the next 20 hours looking at this mouse. But I probably shouldn't. I have YouTube videos to record. 
Anyways, let's take... Oh, this feels so nice. You guys have got to get this thing. It's amazing. It just pops right out. I love this packaging. This mouse feels roughly the same size as my MX2 Master S. Roughly the same size. Feels pretty good. I This one's not quite heavy enough, but it does say that it has weight. And then also, nothing compares to the Apple Magic Mouse. But... On macOS, I use nothing but this. Windows, this thing's trash. So let's take this mouse for a look. Oh, my mouse is, this other mouse is still connected. Let's see, so it looks like we have this nice little plastic wrap on the back, so let's pop this off. Oh, that is so nice. I just love plastic wrap. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's see, we got these little two tabs right here. Oh, that's so smooth. I absolutely love this mouse, and I haven't even used it yet. This mouse is just wow. Let's throw these little guys away. And then let's just take a look at this guy. This looks absolutely amazing and phenomenal, and I'm psyched to use this. It looks like we have our two trigger buttons right here, a button here, 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 and here. We do not have a pressure sensor there like my other one. Here, and it looks like it's got a bunch of bright lights on it. It's got another button here with the G9. Looks like this is a switch. Yeah, so this is a mechanical switch. So if you hear this, and when I press this, now I don't know how fond I am of this because with this mouse, it's slightly different. You can roll it, but then you press this, and it mechanically switches. So you can have it like this, but I can also switch it to run. Anyways, let's take a look at this guy. So it looks like we need to pop off the back here, but I'm not certain. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I should probably open the manual. Let's do that. So right here we have the actual container itself and it's just got a little tab right here. So let's pull this up. And it looks like we've popped this guy right off. In here we have, oh wow, so we have a nice big Logitech G sticker for gaming. And I'm really excited for this. Put that off to the side here and put some stuff away. And then here is the setup guide, I believe. Some more useless papers. And then I have no idea what this is, but whatever this is looks amazing. Then we have a nice little spot in the case and then a charging cable for our mouse. Now if we pull up the quick start information, there's so much stuff right here. The quick start information, uh, safety guides, English, all these different useless things, appendix, I don't really need any of these. So we'll throw these away. But this is what I'm interested in, the quick start guide, I, I think. So it looks like on this mouse we have G1, G2, G3, I think, wait, G3. Oh, you can move this to the side. Okay, I like that. So it looks like we have G3, so push down, G3. You know, I'm not going to bore you with all the buttons. This thing has a lot of buttons on it. It's got buttons absolutely everywhere on this mouse, and I absolutely am so excited to use this mouse. So let's pop this guy open, and let's see. So it looks like we need to plug this into our computer, and then that should do it. I'm not certain. But step one, pop that open. Step two, we're going to plug that in. Step three, I have already downloaded Logitech G Hub. So let's see. We open this up, and I think that this should work pretty well. Let's see. So it looks like to get a bunch of these things, what we need to do is pop this thing open, I think. Okay, that is nice. Looks like on the bottom of this, we press there, I think. I think. Oh, so you push here, you're going to pull up there, and that's going to pull the magnet system off. So it looks like we have all the different things we can need in here. So it looks like we got all the different weights. So we have a weight here, for example. And this weight, we just slide. I actually don't know where we put the weight. Um, I see. So we put the weight right here. I think. I'm not certain. One weight. Two weight. And let's see if two weight is enough for... Oh, no. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Let's see if two weights is enough. So we'll pop this guy in here. Slide him back like that. And then... This is feeling more like it. I still would like a little bit more weight in my mouse, but we'll get working on that later. So I believe right here, we just have this little piece right here. So this guy should be what we use to download. 
So I believe, we just pop this guy out of here. We can plug this in, I think. Ooh, I have absolutely no idea. I'm just gonna put this back where it was and I'm going to read the instructions. It looks like we need to put, so step one, plug my computer in. So let us disconnect this cable situation right here. This could take a while. So what we're gonna do is I actually have a little USB system right here where I can just plug this guy in. So it says step one is to plug this in manually. Um, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into my little thing right here. Actually, hold on, let me just plug this into the back of my computer. This could be a while. Um, I'm gonna find a port and then there we go. So that is all plugged in. Now let's see if that will work. So now that that is plugged in, we need to plug this guy in here and this should open up Logitech G Hub, I think. Plug this guy in there and then let's see what happens. Okay, setting. Okay, so my computer is now recording and the audio has switched from my GoPro, I think, to my toner mic. I'm not certain, but I'll throw this out later. Basically, if I go up to my notifications and if I go over here, USB device is all ready to go. So it sh should pull up my settings and then it looks like my mouse is working. I am not certain. Now, step number two is to go to the back of our mouse and switch it on. So our mouse has just been switched on and we now have lights on this. This looks really sick. Now, I, it looks like third step is to download Logitech G Hub. Okay, so we're going, oh, and it's connected. Instantly is connected. So I'm gonna disable my old mouse. I'm gonna turn that off. That guy will be sitting right here. And then it looks like my mouse is running just fine. So that is actually amazing. It looks like, we, yeah, we can even right click and left click. So open the Logitech G Hub and let me see if I can reconfigure the location on this. So if I disconnect this, now it looks like this mouse has of course disconnected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the very handy adapter that they gave me, which is very, very appreciated. I'm going to unplug this from the back of my computer, if I could find that. And then I'm going to directly plug in directly to the back of my computer, this right here. This is the little tiny USB thing that they give you. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So I've connected that in and let's see. Yes, it works absolutely instantly and it's just activated. Okay, so this is absolutely amazing. It looks like everything on here that we could possibly need is completely useless at this point. So let me go ahead, go ahead and put everything out of the box. Let me, let me take everything away. Okay guys, so I've been using this mouse for about one week or so. And over that one week, I lost everything on my Windows partition on my hard drive. Absolutely everything. Now thankfully I had a backup of just about most everything, which was absolutely amazing but I lost most things. Anyways, I was able to get most of it back, so my computer is roughly the way it was before. I lost a little bit of footage, so I've lost my one block series that I started. Don't worry, I'll make a new one, and that should be out about two weeks after this is uploaded. But let me just tell you guys how great this mouse has been. So I found out where I could put the extra weights. So if you take this mouse, now the reason it's moving like this, or it's got these weird animation on the screens or on the uh, lights, <laughs> um, is because this is low battery. That's the one thing I've noticed with this mouse, it's got a pretty bad battery. It's not the best battery for a mouse. This mouse can last roughly two years. Not quite, but this mouse does not lose its battery. This thing's like on 95 and I haven't charged it in a really long time. This thing, I charged it earlier today, so it's very, very slow, charger-wise. But if you, um, buy their wireless charger, it is always at 100. So on the back, you obviously have the usual place to store weights right here, and then for the USB receiver. But if you pop this right here, it's just you push right here, you take this off, and this is the back plate. So then you have access to all these two gram weights. Now you wouldn't think that just a few weights would actually make that much of a difference, but it's actually a very big difference, and it is really game changing for me, because it takes my mouse from being, you know, nothing really, to basically everything. So I don't currently have OBS running at high quality on my desktop. I need to fix that and I will. And my microphone is also having a little bit of trouble because all my microphone settings were lost. But um, what I did do is I went to Logitech G Hub or Logitech settings for this mouse and I was able to change some of the buttons on this. 
So basically what I did is all these buttons right here, like all these little buttons right here, all these little guys, I reprogram them when I'm running Minecraft and only Minecraft to be extra buttons. Basically the way that I program them to work in Minecraft, I used buttons F24 or F18 to F24. So that's how to do that. And I just remembered, I want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel Silent But Redly. Um, I've seen their content and they're amazing. They have a similar subscriber count to me. They're at about 81 subscribers. They want to get to 100, so let's get them to 100. I can't do much considering I have only about 50 so subscribers at this time. But guys, go check him out. He basically is me, just he does hardcore series while I do create mod series. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you guys are watching and for the massive subscriber leap I got. And don't forget guys, this is the way.